So I, I drive. My business partner is Dart Transit. Okay. So I came to Dart. I wanted to get a, get into a lease program. And I did 30, I called 35 lease purchase companies and did my research. And I am not joking. I freaking interviewed every one of them down to the details because I was comparing them, trying to pick the best option. DART has the best lease purchase uh, option, at least that I researched. There's a better one out there. I'd love to learn about it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. DART has the best lease purchase uh option at least that i researched let, let me start off at the beginning let me do this hold on <laughs> shannon you cracked me up what okay <laughs> okay shannon <laughs> we, we we talking we talking you a lease purchase operator for uh, I, I wouldn't say it's 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 a mega carrier but it's a medium medic mega carrier right you're yes you're picking your own loads from the spot market from a mega carrier. Explain how that works to us. Because I I never knew, and wonder why I'm saying mega carrier, because I'm not sure if you want to put the carrier out there that you drive for. But if you like I to, mean, that's fine. you can. People, right. people should learn. People should learn what their options are. All you right. Know? So go ahead and, and, and break that down for us. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right. So I, I drive. My business partner is Dart Transit. Okay. So I came to Dart. I wanted to get a, get into a lease program. And I did 30. I called 35 lease purchase companies and did my research. And I am not joking. I freaking interviewed every one of them down to the details because I was comparing them, trying to pick the best option. DART has the best lease purchase uh, option, at least that I researched. If there's a better one out there, I'd love to learn about it. But, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't mean to cut you off, uh, Shannon, uh, and a lot of people say I have a habit of doing that, but I don't mean to cut you off. But you said 35 lease purchase 35. program companies? Yes, sir. Took me like give a whole us, year. Yeah. Give us, give us... Before you chose Dart, give us the the two because I'm going to say three and Dart. I'm just saying that you got Dart in the third. We know that you're with Dart now, but what was the other two that you called that was close to what you was looking for before you chose Dart? I would have to say probably F two F and Cloud. Because Josh recommended them to me. And then almost Ardor Express. I did like Ardor Express's program, but what the one thing I didn't like about it that stopped me is that it was renting the truck, but I was never going to see ownership of the truck. It was a straight lease. I, I didn't have the option to purchase it ever. Like, it's just straight lease a truck. So I... Didn't want to go to Ardor for that. Oh, and they dispatch you. I was looking for free as much as the freedom of the, you know, being an owner operator as I could reach while I was purchasing my first piece of equipment. Does that make sense? That makes plenty of sense. All right. So, all right. So continue with what makes Dart so, so interesting because I'm, Dart Transit, you're able to pick your own loads and and off the spot market as well. Well, let let me get let me let me give you a summary. So, Dart has many things you can do. You can work all kinds of ways over there. But Dart has been in the business, and their primary business has been helping people become owner operators for. 90 years, 90. Now, mind you, I came from J.B. Hunt, and J.B. Hunt is 60 years old. Dart is 90 years old. They've been doing this game the longest, okay? So that's, that's their forte. That's what they've been doing. Now, it's only been a couple years past that they started 
uh, developing company drivers. So company drivers is something new to them. Um, so they have contract freight, they have dedicated freight, right? Contracts with people and whatever. So they have the option where if you want to be dispatched, they will run you and they will dispatch you. If you want to drive company, you can drive company. They do not have reefer. Okay. This is drive in only. They do not have a flatbed division. Okay. But they have the option that if you want to, if you want to get out on the open market, you can do that also while leasing your truck and starting your business. They do not teach you how to do it. You are expected to be ready for what you're asking for, right? So I, can't, I, I learned about DART before I made the choice. I knew what I was coming to get into. I knew what I was after. I knew exactly why I, I, I left my great company job at J.B. Hunt, which I made a lot of money doing intermodal. I loved it. I was the J.B. Hunt poster child. I love that shit. But J.B. Hunt did not have an opportunity for me to get on my own, start my business, get a truck, yada, yada, right? So I had to make a very tough decision to leave my great company job. And, and go forward with what my dream was, because when I went to CDL school, this, this was my business plan. So I had gained enough experience, right, driving experience, where I felt I was knowledgeable enough to go ahead and move to the next step. So DART is who I chose. I was able to get a lease purchase truck with no money down. Another factor was this, where I was comparing all of the lease purchase people. How long is the lease term, right? I'm not trying to be married to a company for five years and whatever, right? I'm trying to get in and get it done. So I was able to lease my truck with $0 down for a two-year term. There's a $25,000 balloon payment. But at the end of the day, I got my 2019 beautiful Freightliner. Um, I got it for a two year lease term and then the and then the balloon payment at the end. The way that they set up your maintenance fund, as long as I have no major problems or whatever that I have to pay for, then I'm set up so that by the end of my lease term, which is about I have about fourteen months left, I will already have my balloon payment to finish the truck off. Now, there's a couple of other benefits. Shannon, I can move this truck. Shannon, what? let me let me ask you a quick question <laughs> before you go on. And okay. I appreciate I, I appreciate you explaining this. What uh what for the people that don't know, what is a balloon payment? Like for you know, I, I talk to recruiters okay. and they and they tell mm -hmm. me about balloon payments, but now that you're an actual driver that's going through the leasing deal and ending up with a balloon payment, does that mean you got to get another, uh, like an outside finance to, to, to finish paying off the truck? What, what, what do that mean? Okay. So, so what it means is you agreed. Okay. So for uh, let me use myself as an example, cause I can only tell you what I know. So I, so I paid the truck lease terms, which is $2,100 a month, okay, which I, I like that payment. It's billed daily, okay? So I agree that I'm going to do that for the period of two years. And then at the end of that term, I have the option to turn the truck in and get another truck and just keep on leasing. Or if I would like to buy the truck, I have the option to buy the truck for $25,000. Now, that's why I set up my maintenance, what, what's put into my maintenance fund, that money will be there. So I will have the choice like, okay, do I want to buy the truck out and, and, and then own my truck? Or do I want to go ahead and turn it in and get another one and keep on going? But the money will be there. Now, in the case, if it's not, because if you have major breakdowns or whatnot, that'll mess up your whole plan, right? Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? A uh, large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? 
No, I mean large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. No, venti is 20. If you don't have the money, they will, if you still want to buy your truck, they will finance the rest of that money, that $25,000 over the next year. They'll give you another year to pay it out if you have to, because some drivers get in situations, right? They need options. So they will let you do that. Or you pay your money and you buy out your truck. Or if you decide that you want to go to an outside party, a bank or whatnot, and get into debt, then you can go get a loan and you can pay out your truck at any time during, even during your lease term period, but you got to come with the whole check. So that, that is another thing that I liked about it because most lease purchase programs don't allow you to do that. They do not allow you to pay double payments or pay payments ahead because you're on a lease. It's billed daily. You get billed daily. So you can't pay ahead because it hasn't been billed yet. So you have to run the, the term of the lease. Now, a lot of people are afraid of balloon payments. People talk a lot of shit about balloon payments. But you got to understand, they are giving you an opportunity to get your truck. They are not checking your credit. They are requiring no down payment up front. Right? And so by all means, why are you going to get mad about a balloon payment? That's basically your down payment that you would have had to pay any place out up front. They just move it to the back. So they're doing you a solid. Okay. Okay. And ever the way that you get set up, the way that they do things ends up teaching you, which I learned, I learned this after being some time into it, the structure that, I have to work with with them is the exact right way that you should learn to run your trucking company business, to run your truck. You got to know your numbers. You got to put money away for maintenance. You, and the, the great thing is I get paid after every load, like in tw within 24 hours. So they are the factoring company. They, they are the, the truck purchase. They are the, the freight broker or a freight broker, right? So there's all of that is, is there for you. It's like a buffet table, right? But it is totally and solely and 100% up to you and what you do with that opportunity. All right. All right. So Shannon, you, so you have to, you have to get your shit together. You have to, you have to do your homework. You have to know what you're, what you're going to do. All right. right? Shannon, because so it's all there for you. All right, so you so you 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 mentioned a couple of uh, key things. Uh, one is the fact that you pay twenty one hundred a week, a month, a month. Oh, you, so you twenty. Oh, so you pay a month. So you don't pay weekly. This this is all one lump sum coming out of the out of the, is it is it coming out of your check or out of your settlements every week or is it one lump sum every month? It gets charged every day. So, for instance, if I run a, a load that takes two days, then that's that's two days of truck payments, which is sixty nine dollars a day. So, when I when I know my numbers about what my my costs are to run a load, that's a factor. Okay, so that means my truck cost is a my truck cost is one hundred and forty dollars a day to to run my truck. Okay, that's that's cost. That's before fuel. That's be, that's uh, after Dart takes their thirty percent because I run on a percentage. They get thirty, I get seventy. They take their thirty percent, and then I have to pay that cost of one hundred and forty dollars per day before fuel. So I have to know that. That's my insurances. That's my toll tags, my plates, my ELD, all that stuff wrapped up in there is one hundred and forty bucks a day, and my truck payment. So I have to know that number. So it's charged daily. So if I run a load that takes two days, three days, four days, five days, when I cash out that load, all those days of that rent, that lease, that lease money, right? That's been billed during that five days I took to run the load, then that gets paid. 
with that load. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So if I run a load that t- takes one day, then my truck payment for that one day is going to come out of there because I got to pay the rent for the day. If I go home, if I stay home for three days, I got three days worth of truck payments to catch up when I come out. And so my first settlement, those, those get caught up. So you stay, you stay paid up. You can't get behind. You know, I mean, you can get in the hole if you go home or if you, something happens and you know, you don't work for some days because that lease payment is getting billed every single day, whether you're working or not. But at the end of the month, it comes out to $2,100 for the truck payment and then the insurances and all that stuff, but it's taken out daily. So you might not think that's a good thing, by the way it sounds, but it's actually a great thing because in your business, what do you have to do? Every single day costs your business money. You have to know what that costs. So if you're going to be a good boss and a good business owner, you have to know those numbers every single day, what your business costs to run. So if you run a bar and nobody comes for a Wednesday, then you got to know how much you just spend on keeping the lights on for nothing, right? Same thing. Your business costs something every day to run it. So that's the way that they do it. And it's perfect because it's exa- it ends up teaching you exactly how to run your trucking company, the mindset, the structure, the whole thing. So at the end of, uh, at the, end of the term, then you got your balloon payment. And they're, so, like I said, they will extend you out for another year to help you pay it. Or you have the option, you always have the option at any time during the contract to go get into debt with the bank and get the money and buy your truck out. And a lot of people don't know this because they don't read their contract. You can move your truck. If I wanted to move to, let's say, Swift, right? I want to go become a, a owner operator for in contract or sign up with Swift or something as an owner operator, lease on to them, right? Or anybody. I can take my truck. It will be a fee because there's a contract con- cancellation fee and there are two other stipulations that you have to meet. They have to be able to take your truck payment out, um, direct deposit the same way so that uh, DART gets paid. And then they also have to meet the insurance requirements. If you can meet those three stars, you're allowed to take your truck and move it. And that is another thing that many, most, if not all, lease programs will not let you do while you're leasing with them. And so many got many guys that currently work at DART don't know that because they don't read their contract. They have no idea that you can even do that. And then on top of that, why I like DART is because the whole time I'm I'm focusing on paying for my first piece of equipment for my business, I get to use a trailer that I don't have to pay rent. Okay. That's a bonus because if you went to like any other place, you not only have to pay for your truck payment, but then you got to pay to rent that trailer. And that's another cost, two to $300 a week sometimes. So I get gigantic discounts on work, service work, because Dart has their own shops. And I get a gigantic discount on tires, Goodyear tires. Um, And then... I also get a great big fuel discount, which all of those things, as I'm starting out as an entrepreneur, a new business, that helps me greatly. And the insurance alone that I have to pay is is a drop in the bucket compared to what I'd have to pay if I were on my own authority. So all of those things are set in place to help you while you get started and get on your feet and you get out here and you learn the game. Shannon, I mean, but you gotta, you gotta be on point. Man, you gotta be as sharp as a freaking razor blade. Man, you're gonna Shannon coming with the coming with the jewels of Dart. I ain't even realized that Dart even offered all this uh, additional uh, options for you guys. I mean, I talked to Dart back, you know, back in uh, uh, what season? Like maybe I think about a. I think this is what, 23? I think I talked to Dart in 21. 
And I, I guess, you know, I, I, I only talk to him about the company side, but man, the lease side, I mean, this sounds like, like a win-win. Like, I mean, would, so by the sounds of everything that you're telling, you, you will recommend Dart for, for a new person that's interested in going in the lease. But you like, but like you said, they gotta know and read the contract fully if they want to go if, if they want to go that route. Damn good coffee and hot. What what I would tell the regular person first, I would ask them what your goals are, like why do you want to lease, right? And why do you want to what you know what your goals are? Because the same the same to make money. It, you, especially in the market, work in the market, you ain't going to get the most money this way. You're not because you're starting a business. There's other costs that you have to start. You have to think about, you have to pay an accounting firm. You have to pay yourself payroll, all of these other things that, that it, it takes to run a business. If you are a business person and you are want to start this business and you have done your homework and you know what it's about and you're ready to freaking dig in with your teeth and make the sacrifice, then you should do it. And it's, it's about the best truck payment and that you can get. And it's agreeable terms and you get the use of the trailer and they cover all the maintenance and stuff on the trailer. So you don't, you don't ever have to pay for the trailer. All right. But so before we get you on, need the to, you need to understand the business. They will not teach you how to do this. Be, let me be super clear on that. They do not teach you. It, it is all up to you to ask the right questions. They don't lie to you. They don't screw with your settlement. You have to be on top of your business. You have to dig for the information. You have to ask the questions. You have to figure it out. Not spoon feed anybody or train them. It is, it is like the stereotypical story, right? You hear like, oh, they just hand you the contract and then, and then there you go. And then people get pissed off. Well, they didn't tell me this. Well, they didn't tell me that. That happens. And this is that situation. You get a brief orientation and you pick out your truck and boom, you go. And guess what? You're out there without your training wheels and you, you have to figure out how to get real smart, real fast. And it is no play. And if you don't got that, if you ain't hungry for that, don't even waste anybody's time because it ain't that. If you want to come to Dark to uh, make the money and run their contract freight and let them dispatch you and be a company driver for Dark, it's a great place. There's great people. But if you try to lease and go out on the open market and go into business for yourself, you better be ready to roll up your sleeves and dig your fingernails in the dirt because it is no game. But they will help you, but you have to be smart and you have to figure shit out and you have to ask the right questions. They will give you all the information in the world, but you have to ask. And it's all there for you. All right. And many, many drivers have paid off trucks. Many, many of these guys that are, have been with Dart for a long time have several trucks because after they paid off their first one, they stayed and they, they washed, rinse and repeat did it again, got another truck, put another driver in. I can do that myself. When I pay off this truck, I can get another truck with no down payment and run the thing again, put a driver in this truck, and I can build my fleet at Dart if I so choose. And I don't ever have to worry about trailers. So there's, So you can build a fleet. You can stay by yourself. You can run company. You can, you can, let them dispatch you. They, they uh, do not force dispatch. So let me make that clear because a lot of people might be asking. They do not force dispatch. Um, but again, when you're leasing a truck, you better know your numbers and understand what you're turning down and that those costs run every day. So you are, you're getting billed every single day. So the longer you play games and try to be bougie, you're going to go broke and you're going to fail. And then you're going to end up walking out and owing them money. And that is not what you want to do. 
Like you got to know your numbers if you're going to start lease purchasing. You got to you got to have a business mind and you got to be ready to grind like you never grind before. Because the first year you start your trucking company is a sacrifice. Shannon in the building. Thank you, ma'am. I really do appreciate this, man. This, I, I lot lots of stuff that I learned today. Uh, dark man. Uh, I mean, I I might have to. I might have to make another phone call to the the dart man. Um, do you? Let me ask you this, Shannon. Uh, before we get on up out of here, um, do you get a do you get any type of referral or anything like that? I mean, if so, I can, you know, I can list you in the in the in the description, or or you don't care about the referral. I I don't care about the referral because, and I'll tell you why. I will help any dart drivers at any time or, or if you're wanting to know, ask questions i'm there i'm i will answer anybody's questions but i do not pump dart and i do not turn out for referrals and all that because it takes so much to do this thing and to be successful at it and such a mindset it's very hard to find those kinds of people that really understand what they want to do and, and that they, they got a sacrifice to do it because there's so many people with their heads in the clouds about being an owner operator and it's all this money and woohoo and all that and freedom and home time and all that. It ain't even any of that. So I won't blow smoke up. No one's ass about it. But if you are like hardcore, like this is what you want to do. And I run into talking to someone about that. And they're lo- they're telling me the opportunity that they're looking for, then I I will refer them. And yeah, it's a nice little chunk of change, but I'm I'm more interested in people being successful. And so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be out there recruiting and recruiting and stuff like that. I put my journey on YouTube so that you can watch if you want to watch it and watch how I'm doing before you decide if that's something that you want. That's why I do that. But by no means am I just trying to get tell everybody to come here. If you're looking for this opportunity, it's very hard to find. It's like a needle in a haystack, but it's the perfect opportunity, and it's set up the perfect way. But, but it's just not for everybody. So that's why I don't really push the referral thing. But, but yeah, I mean, if anybody wants to use me for a referral, great. If they, if they think they're ready and they, they think they want to get to the next level like that, then yeah, for sure. It would be a benefit to me, but it's the most important thing to me is that you understand what you're getting into. You understand what you're asking for because you will get it and you will get it with a great support system. You will get it with the flexibility that you you might want and, and all that boss shit. And that's why they call it driving like a boss. And trust me, (laughs) you're going to get what you, what you want if that's what you want. But it's so hard because at least everybody's throwing trucks at people and this big dream and YouTubers are talking about the bullshit. No. Like, if you want the real deal, it's there for you. But I, that's why I don't pump it because it's like, you know, I, I have to go through everything that I just explained. I have to, I'm on the real, like, I'm going to tell people. What do you want? If you're after starting your own company and you're ready to get real, then yes, I will say that. Then, then this is the opportunity you want. This is, this is better than ego. This is better than all them other places because you are going to be handed the keys and the opportunity and you are going to have to figure out, you know, if you decide to run open market, you're going to, you're going to learn how to run your company and how to, work for the brokers and build relationships with brokers and it's all on you you they don't do it for you and so yeah you get your equipment and you're kicked out the door and you're in the wilderness and you got to have the fortitude and the intelligence to build your business from the raw so dart might not be you know this pumped up company all out there and a lot of people don't know about it but if you've been looking for something like that and you want to cut through all the bullshit, there's, there's no catch. There's no catch here. Like, but know what you're getting into. You know, it's, it's not like they're going to trick you. They're not going to 
show you your settlements and all this, or show you your um, rate cons and all that. Now, if you're driving for them and they're dispatching you, you're not going to see any rate cons. Thank you. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black, like my man. But me, myself, I'm, I ran their contract freight because they will run you on contract for a little while so they can learn your work ethic. They can make sure that, you know, you're a worker and you're a runner and, and all this, that they can put their faith in you. And so I did that. They put, they put me through that program for about like five months. And then when I showed, and I, I did the best that I could, I worked hard. I did it all. And I went anywhere. Like I didn't give them no bullshit. And then they were willing to let me do what I came to do. And so I paid my dues. They made, so they are just my business partner. I'm working the open market. They take 30%. I get 70%. I barely speak to them unless I need something from them. I'm literally out here making my business happen and making my dream come true the way I wanted to. And they get their cut, but they, they, they're giving me the opportunity. So they, we now we behave as business partners and and it my business is what I make it and that's what I wanted. All right. And, and some weeks I, I I can't pay myself and some weeks I can. <laughs> you know cuz that's the key, that's how the market is. It's it's tough. It's going to kick your ass. You know so if if you're the kind of person that can handle that or wants to you know go get it then I would recommend them. Let's, long story short. Sorry I made that long winded. No, you good. You good, man. You good. This I mean, this this some good information that a lot of people it's not privy to. And that's why we, you know, that's why I do over here. I you know, I give uh people their opportunity to, you know, to talk and and you know, to tell their experience, their testimonials and everything like that. So I appreciate the, the the reach out. I appreciate the shout out and everything. That I, I, all I got, all I got is much success to you. And for anybody that's interested and in going over to Dart or interested in Shannon's journey, definitely check out her YouTube, uh, Shannon Trucking. I Shannon believe. Thomas Trucking. Shannon, Shannon Thomas, Thomas Trucking. Shannon Thomas Trucking. Make sure you guys go over there and give this little lady a, a subscribe. Hell of a hell of a different uh female trucker that you guys gonna get uh with her, you know. But I, I can tell you one thing. You are gonna get you're gonna get some knowledge, you're gonna get a little bit of education, and maybe and 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 maybe have a little bit of fun with her. So definitely go over oh, there yeah, and check we have her fun. out. We I like to have fun, but uh, as far as when it comes to company talk and business, I'm going to shoot it to you straight. <laughs> totally straight. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Shannon, thank you very much, ma'am. Awesome conversation, man. I enjoyed it. It got me down the road. I'm about to go ahead and shut it down now. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swimming around. Want you to take it like a G.